Uh, Seminary Restaurant is a business that's set by myself and my wife, Ali Dedienko. We decided we'd like to open a restaurant a couple of years back. It just so happens that this came onto the market and you know, we jumped at the chance to, to get it. The problem is we've seen with other vegetarian restaurants is they're not particularly, you know, they're, there's a less kind of premium side to them. And we wanted to create somewhere where you could go and have a nice drink, a nice glass of wine and a decent cocktail. I am uh, Ali Didienko. I am uh, one of the owners of Ceremony. As a vegetarian, I don't actually feel there are that many places to eat. Uh, and the places that are out there are usually sort of headed down the healthy, um, the healthy line. Ceremony is something very different. It's the fact that uh, vegetarians you know, like indulgence as well. And so what we wanted to do with Ceremony was create a restaurant that uh, happened to not have meat. And I guess that's really what the ethos behind our place is. Well, in order to realize our menu, uh, we worked with a team of development chefs, which were, funnily enough, introduced to us by I4. Uh, and the development chefs basically took our ideas and scaled them up. Um, they made them work for a restaurant setting. Uh, they, you know, kind of listened to what was in my brain and, and made it come to life. Um, so we worked with I4 because of an existing relationship between myself and Paul. Um, I've known him for quite a few years. Um, I know he's worked on many projects, which a few of my friends have been at open bars. So there's a couple of cases. I knew he's uh, done a really good job uh, for friends in, uh, in different parts of London. Um, so as it was a bespoke product and as it was a resistant relationship, uh, we decided to contact them. Uh, the bar we have created is a great bar for one person to work behind. Um, I, you know, we don't have back bar fridges, so we haven't got the problem of people going behind to restock fridges. People are sitting at the bar as well as drinking at the bar. And so that's uh, the case for about 38 people for one person who's looking after everything themselves. Uh, we've elevated a little bit and just kind of gone with the height of the ceilings. It almost you kind know, of puts you on a bit of a pedestal and puts you uh, puts you on show a little bit. But the bartenders that we have are all great and they uh, they're, they're very skilled at what they do. So it, it's it's almost become the focal point of the ceremony restaurant. Uh, the way that it worked with I4 was uh, essentially we kind of told them what we needed, uh, and they des designed a kitchen and bar for us. So you know, obviously this is our first restaurant. Um, while both Joe and I have worked in restaurants before. Uh, it's one thing to work in a restaurant and it's another thing to really know what you need, uh, to really know what is going to work in the space. And so it was great working with a uh, company who had experience. I4 has done the bars for lots of our friends who own restaurants and bars in London. Um, they are trusted in the industry uh, and they made the process really easy. And we have a kitchen that chefs like to work in and a bar that bartenders like to work behind.